the basic issue in water, we have, we, have, we have important issues at many levels, but the real core issue ultimately is who owns the water, who controls the water, is the water viewed as a co commodity or are we going to view it as a commons with an obligation towards citizens under a concept or principles of, of a public trust? So the debate really is between water being privatized or commercialized or water, the essence of water and the commons being protected and viewed for the benefit of all. And the compact brings that to the national level. It forces a discussion at the national level about water policy because we're talking about the biggest body of fresh water in the United States. How can we not address the issue? And we need to figure out where this policy needs to go and just who is going to own our water and who's going to make the decision when in the future the water crisis coupled with uh, the uncertainties of climate change demands some very difficult ethical decisions uh, with huge implications about human life and survival. Water itself is a flowing cycle on the planet. It has meaning where it falls and flows, in those rivers and in those watersheds and where those towns and cities are located. Where that water is, how much water there is, that means everything. If you take the concept of privatization and apply it to something that is in the public domain, you're absolutely turning upside down the legal and ethical and an institutional viewing and structure of society with, re with respect to water for the last 2,000 years. I mean, if you can get a resource and sell it, for example, in the bottled water industry, let's assume that uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, price of water is, is a buck a gallon. Uh, it's more than that if it's in bottles, but, but you know, let's just assume that for the sake of argument. And you're paying nothing to get the water, and the studies, municipalities can produce water out of the ground for one or two cents. I know the costs are going up, but one or two cents a gallon, let's say it's five cents a gallon. Uh, well, a private company can do that, do the same, so gosh, you get, a, you get a gallon of water you can sell for a buck and your cost is five cents. I mean, is there anything more profitable? But imagine if you're handing that, you know, those trillions of dollars with no requirement of compensation just because of shift in policy towards privatization of water. I mean, harm aside, harm issues, public interest issues aside, that's bad business. If you were a trust officer at a bank, you're not going to let somebody uh, take, you know, the million dollars in the trust account for a dime or a buck and let them play around with it for their profit. Nor should government do the same. You know, privatization is good in its right context, but you take it out of its context and it collapses. And the commons of water is too large for, privatization has to do with the use uh, of water once it's allowed to be taken from the commons, but it can't possibly be substituted for the commons as a perception, as an ethic or a value or, or a legal institutional structure. It creates insecurity because of the uncertainty in pricing that would occur because of the uncertainties of climate change and war and other, other aspects of who, who's going to control that. We've seen that. I mean, do we need any better example than the four to five going to six dollars per gallon of gasoline? That's a privatized resource. Water is not. And if we go that direction, we're going to end up just like we are with oil and it could be much worse because we're not talking about choices of driving a car or not or taking the airplane versus the train or taking your bike to work versus driving the car, we're talking about whether you get a, get a drink of water.